Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Everyone in this legislature knows that it's illegal to pass a school bus when it is stopped, lights flashing, and stop arm extended. Last February, my bill short form the uh, school bus systems uh, bill or act of 2017 passed unanimously at second reading but unfortunately your government continues to dismiss this bill as what insignificant well we tried to move it forward before the sessions end by asking the government to include it as part of the safe schools act sadly this request was denied sadly premier it's been 216 days all this government proposes to do about blow buys is to call for more and more consultation with municipalities. We all know that consultation is code for doing nothing. Question. The government claptrap won't solve the problem. So, Premier, will you see to it that my bill be sent to committee and passed? Thank you. Yeah. Minister of Transportation. Minister of Transportation. Uh, thanks so very much, Speaker. I thank the member from Chatham, Ken Essex, for his question. He and I have had not only in the course of debate here in the legislature, but also conversations here in this building. Uh, I do uh, acknowledge, and I have acknowledged to him directly, uh, that I recognize the importance, our government recognizes the importance of making sure that we are in the strongest position possible to make sure that our most vulnerable road users, including students, including those that are near uh, school buses, are protected at all times, Speaker. So, when the member talks about the consultation process that we have committed to undertake, and I, in fact, in my conversations with that member, I've offered him the opportunity to participate in these consultations. Speaker, it's not simply about delaying. It's not at all about delaying, in fact, Speaker. It's about making sure that we get it right. There is uh, what I'll say is an evidentiary burden that's required in order, in order for the technology to work appropriately and in order for us to be able to make sure that whatever is drawn from those cameras can be entered into evidence without the need for a standalone independent witness. We need to make yes, sure sir. that we're getting it right. That's why we're going to do the consultation, Speaker. Happy to include that member in the consultation process, Speaker, and happy to have Thank a conversation you. about it as well. Supplementary. Uh, back to the action, Premier. Not more time. Uh, last May, we uh, missed a golden opportunity to get my nonpartisan Bill 94 passed into law before the summer recess. People are outraged that this didn't happen. I have letters from municipalities throughout the province supporting this bill and hundreds of signatures on petitions calling the government to action. Recently, a blow-by occurred in Tecumseh. It was captured on a home security system. It recorded a mother's horror as she went out to meet her children and saw a car passing on the shoulder of the road just as her children were about to get off the bus. Luckily, no children were hurt, but it could have ended in tragedy. Premier, Minister, the longer your government dismisses Bill 94, the greater the chances are of tragedy. Will you take action today and expedite Bill 94 before it is too late? Thank you. Thanks very much, Speaker. I thank the member for the follow-up question. I will say, uh, and, and I didn't say this in the opening answer, I will say it very clearly. There is nobody in this House, frankly, Speaker, I can't believe there's anyone in the province who would in any way, shape, or form not want to move forward aggressively to make sure that we stop the blow-bys from happening, as that member has said, and as members of all sides of the House have said, Speaker. But a couple of things I do want to point out. Number one, there is nothing that currently stops uh, video cameras from being used on school buses. And in fact, there are some places in the province that have gone forward looking at some of the pilot opportunities that exist with respect to the technology. What we're consulting on, not just with municipalities, not just with the member opposite if he chooses to participate in the consultation, but also with our road safety partners, is making sure that whatever is produced by, by way of the camera itself can be entered into evidence in a way that does not necessarily require a third party being there to verify that the offense in question, that the as as is being pointed out, like red light cameras, Speaker, Answer. we're not quite there yet, Speaker. I hope to be there soon, and I can assure that member and all members, as soon as we're there and can satisfy the rest of the elements of what's required, we'll be the Thank first you. ones to make sure that it happens.